want to get into do you want to get in do you want to get into reading Stephen King but don't know where to start are you scared of being too scared are you curious of these deeper cuts well you've come to the right place in this video I'm going to take you through my Stephen King starter kit hi again I'm Dave Musson at Dave Musson on Instagram and welcome back to my channel so this is my final intro video before we go into a deep dive on all of the Stephen King books. And for any Stephen King newbies out there, I wanted to create a Stephen King starter pack, a bunch of books that I would recommend if you're looking to get started on your own King journey. So there's a bunch of great stuff in here. I'm gonna jump right in it, but spoiler alert, I've not included anything from the Dark Tower series because I don't think that is a good place to start. I think you should immerse yourself in King's world first before you try and join Roland and his gang. So let's jump in with my starter kit. For a great starting point, look no further than Night Shift. It's his first short story collection and King is a master of the short story. This has got a bunch of scary stuff in like Children of the Corn and The Mangler, but it's also got some really great dramatic writing like The Woman in the Room and The Last Rung on the Ladder. Well worth it. Oh, and being short stories, you can snack on them anytime you like. Easy. The best example of King playing to all his strengths and doing all types of Stephen King things is Salem's Lot. You've got a small town, you've got the scariness of vampires, you've got the small town residents who all turn out to be wankers. Yep, it's all there right in this book and you should definitely read it. And it's kind of chunky without being too chunky. You want to be scared? Read The Shining. That's it, that's the explanation. The Shining not scary enough for you? Really want to fuck yourself up? Read Pet Cemetery, you wicked little shit. This book is so fucked up that King didn't want to publish it himself. He thought it was too dark. And yet, it is incredibly powerful. One of the best pieces of writing about grief you will ever come across. Yep, it's scary, but it will stay with you forever. If you're looking for adventure, 112263 is where to go. Time travel, assassinations, historical fiction, a love story, an ending that will bring you to tears. It's got everything. A hipster choice, eh? Well, to be honest, any of King's mid-90s output can be deemed a deep cut. My favourite is Rose Madder. It's the finale of a trio of books where there is a strong woman as a character. And I just like this one the best, mainly because it's got weird supernatural stuff and a horrible bastard of the villain who turns into a weird horned creature. Now if you think of Stephen King as only being able to scare you shitless, read The Green Mile and let him crush your soul and break your heart. It's wonderful. So you know about King's pen name right, Richard Bachman? Most of that stuff is not good, apart from The Long Walk, which is in the Bachman books. The Long Walk is incredible. It's set in this dystopian future, a reality TV show where if you stop walking, you get shot. And it was written by King when he was a teenager himself, which is insane because it is so, so good. If you want a full throttle pulpy popcorn epic, then go to Christine. It's a manic page turner, loads of blood, loads of gore, loads of death. And yeah, the one about the evil car. You probably know it. A starter kit wouldn't be complete without a visit to King's Town, Castle Rock, the town he created and frequently heads back to. There's a bunch of them out there, they're all really worth reading, but my favourite is Needful Things, as I said in my Top 10 King video, mainly for the utter chaos and carnage. Again, echoing my last video, but if you want a chunky King read, you could read The Stand, but you should really read it. Come on, killer fucking clowns. Once more, I'm repeating myself from my previous video, but if you want to feel all of the feelings, get involved with different seasons. This has King's full range, dark, scary, weird, heartfelt, and a kid who vomits over his entire town. What more do you want? So a question that gets asked quite a lot of people who are trying to get their kids into Stephen King is, are there any of his works that are particularly well suited to younger readers? And as it happens, there are a couple of young adult Tinge King books. The Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon is one good example, but the one I'm going to go for is The Eyes of the Dragon, a fantasy epic with 
dragons, wizards, all of that kind of shit. But also a book that King wrote for his daughter after she complained that she didn't like any of his other stuff. It's pretty good. Finally, one from me, and I'm going to keep banging the drum for it. It's The Dead Zone. It's my favourite. Read it. If you don't, we can't be friends. There we go. My King Starter Kit. Let me know what you think in the comments and if there's any that you think I've missed out. And join me next time where we will start our epic journey through all of King's bibliography. Jumping in feet first into Carrie. Do hit me up on Instagram. Subscribe to this channel. Let me know what you think below. Check out my band Chapter 19. There's a link in the description. You've been listening to our song Stephen all the way through this. It's a song about Stephen King. Um, and I guess that's about it. I should probably stop talking now because I'm definitely going to drop these books. Thanks for watching and we'll see you real soon. Told you I was going to drop them.